Yo, what's good, people? It's your brother, Young Raps. Star Seed Magic, Divine Light, every single time. Right now, I want to talk about the psychedelic DMT, and I'm also known as scientifically known as dimethyltryptamine. And what I want to talk about is my experience with DMT, basically. So my DMT experience is, and what I learned from it is, DMT shows you the afterlife. And it shows you an experience outside of your body. Now depending on what strain of DMT people have smoked, will depend on how long and intense their DMT trip was. And I'm pretty sure that some of them are like, pretty intense the ones that come from frog venom toad venom that's like one of the most intense ones but the one that i smoked here yeah, was extracted from a not a very old tree i can't remember what type of tree but this was like this was just as good and proper yeah this was proper dmt that i, I had like two three hits of and this is what shamans do as well. Shamans actually pr use this as a ritual to c connect to the spirit world. But basically what I was doing at that time is I was going through a lot of body snatching and mind control. So I was willing to experiment with the DMT to see if it could elevate me and shift me to a new timeline, which it did. It done exactly what I thought it would do and I had a lot of confirmation from the universe that I was doing the right thing when I was doing this. Because it put me on the right path. And it showed me the afterlife. So basically what happened was, the experience lasted five minutes. Something like that. Or maybe less than that. But what happened was, I, I, I come out my body and it was pretty strange feeling when you feel yourself separating from your, from your vessel. And, and I started hovering above the room that I was in, hovering high in the room. And I was basically hovering in the room, knowing, recognizing what that felt like. I recognized it more than anything. It was like going somewhere you've been before plenty of times, but you can't, you can't describe it. I was not in, in this vessel, in this body. And I was hovering above my body, on, which was sitting down on a chair. And I, and I remember having telepathic thoughts about my, my mate who was like watching, he was playing GTA and he was not even paying attention to the fact that I just, he was, he was laughing, but he, he didn't really care. He weren't too phased, bro. He was playing GTA. And I just remember thinking, this guy don't even know know that I'm outside my body right now. Like he can't see me. He just he just sees me slumped on the chair of my vessel. So anyway, that was that it didn't even last that long. Weren't too intense, it was just a bit of a out of body experience that was. But then what happened, what what went on to happen after that is the most interesting thing ever. Because this is where it this is where it got even more intense. I went home that night and I went to sleep and I must have activated my pineal so much yeah, and stimulated it that basically that, that was another realm that was another realm bro that basically what happened was I was going to, I went to sleep went into this other realm and in the other realm there was mad shit happening bro it was like apocalyptic dreams and messages coming to me. It was like, I, I remember communicating with extraterrestrials outside my body that night. Like interdimensionals telling me, giving me messages, yeah, that are relevant to this world. But when I come back in my body, you know, I, I do remember them. And it, was, and it was talking about gang stalking in particular and confirming that, that everything that I was learning, yeah, everything that I was suspicious of was real. I got all the confirmations from the other side, the other realm. 
I got all this confirmation. So I was a bit disturbed when I woke up, as you can imagine. I was highly disturbed. And uh, so like, I woke up and I was shook to even go back to sleep because I knew I kept, I'd keep going back to this world, which I did. And I, I kept on going back there and then having even more stranger experiences in this world. And I remember there was that, this room I was in, it was like a bedroom, but it wasn't the same bedroom I was in. There was these windows open and then everything was all like blowing. And then everything was all coming out. The, like everything, all the contents of the room was blowing out the windows. And all the windows, was just, it was like a, just like some kind of storm or something that was just crazy wind blowing everything out. And then I was just, yeah, just tripping out in that, in that kind of sense. We kept waking up from these dreams. And then afterwards, I remember when I finally got up that next day and walked around, I felt like everything had changed. My whole life had changed because I knew something now about the afterlife. And I knew that the, I knew that everything I was learning was real because of the messages that I got given to me that night. So, obviously, that was not the only time that I did smoke DMT, but that's the most intense stuff that come out of it. And then, like, other than that, I was just sharing the experience with my my other spiritual friends who have also got their stories of what happened to them. But other than that, yeah, like, this is solid proof of afterlife. This is why our people, after they smoke DMT, they, they stop being scared of this world, yeah, like, things that can happen, stressing about things in this world, that like, you don't stress about nothing after that because you realise this ain't even real. And your higher self, yeah, is already in the future. Your higher self it is your future self. So your future self is what washes over you in the past, which is this. You know? And your higher self made it to the future. It's you from the future. So basically, everything that people stress about, they don't really get what's going on in this world, bro. When you're stressing about bills and, and you're letting people lower your vibration and you're, and you're feeding into negative energy... Like what all you're doing is you're, you're just walking around this dense reality thinking this this shit means something like this is not this is not that real as you think like, like speaking your dreams into this reality and dreaming your 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 dream life yeah what you always wanted that's what this reality is for creating your own reality it's not for walking around with that third eye shut off, acting like this is a, a 3D world, bro. Because you're, you're always interacting in these other dimensions, even if you don't feel it or see it. Like, people who think yeah, they, they're focusing on this dimension, really, there's no such thing as that, because all the past, future and present exist at the same time, and, and the dimensions, yeah, are interacting with each other anyway whether you like it or not. So your disconnection from spirit is actually the same thing as being disconnected from God. That's the, that's the raw fact for you guys, yeah? That's how it is. I can't put it any more simple. I have a way though, with that being said, yeah? Peace, love and light. I'm going to do another video soon about psychedelics yeah mushrooms in particular but this is my dmt experience anyway yeah make sure you like share subscribe thank you for watching all my youtube videos peace